All right, y'all, we briefly going to touch on my birthday on this episode, because at this point, this is an episode. We're going to touch on my birthday, and we're going to touch on Peaches MFM McIntyre, because at this point, you're... Hi, bitches. So, I'm on my lunch break again. And today I have spaghetti. When did I make this motherfucker spaghetti? I made this spaghetti on Tuesday, the day before my birthday. Yesterday was my birthday. And I uploaded yesterday. And if you watch my upload, only nine people did. But if you watch it, then you know that I was so motherfucking happy that I had I was taking Peach McIntyre's course. Um y'all. I'm like, which one we finna start off with? Are we finna start off talking about this bitch, Peach McIntyre, Peaches McIntyre, whatever the fuck her name is? Or are we finna start off talking about my job and my birthday? I don't know. I guess my job and my birthday. Birthday was awesome. I loved every second of it. Um, I am going to have a game night this weekend. And I'm gonna go see Lil Baby. Yeah, I'm gonna get my makeup done. I haven't got my makeup done professionally, like really since prom, honestly. So, so let me know if y'all want me to vlog that experience. Like seven years. Well, really, I don't give a fuck if y'all want me so, to, and I, I think I'm gonna do gonna it regardless. That's gonna be interesting, and y'all, I didn't come to work yesterday, so when I came in today, they were like, "Happy belated birthday, whoop de whoop." I feel bad because the lame office manager brought me a little gift, and it was cute, like a little couple, whatever. I feel bad, but in the same breath. I'm not down talking her. I'm just saying, stating the obvious. It's obvious she's a lame ass bitch that ain't got no family or fucking friends. But my friend made the comment earlier. She was like, "But bitches can have everything. They can have everything. A family, a family, friends, a husband, a spouse, whatever, and still take their job serious as fuck." Which is true, but anyways, I feel kind of bad. But in the same breath, I don't because like. I'm sorry. I just, I, I don't feel bad. Like, I don't know. I'm not saying it to be mean about her. I'm just saying it is in a way like, she just take this job super duper oh. whoop, whoop, whoop or serious for no Hold fucking on. reason. Hold on. Now, as for Miss Peaches, that bitch. Okay, so first I had brought her little ebook course thing. I haven't looked over all the videos. Let me say that. I, I still need to watch so many. It was five. I've looked at like two of the three. What I will say is, or maybe two or three. What I don't like about her ebook thing. It's only thirteen dollars. Let's start off with that. What I don't motherfucking like about it is, if I'm purchasing an ebook, there should not be a fucking limit on how long I have for the ebook. People have everyday fucking lives. Everybody don't just have time to sit up. Bitch, it's an ebook. Book. That means it's, it's a fucking top, book on bitch. your phone. Bitch, when but, does books expire? What the fuck? And it saddens me to even talk like this about this hoe because I genuinely love this hoe. She like really inspired me. But if we're going to be a thousand percent honest, I ain't talking about the fucking ebook. I'm talking about her one on one course. If y'all her friend on Facebook, and I'm going to screenshot a wire screenshot and I'm gonna attach it. I'm gonna attach it when I'm editing. Look, if I'm gonna talk about the whole I'm gonna be politically correct. It wasn't a one on one course, it was a Zoom meeting. For a little one on one. Well, I didn't even gonna say one on one. I brought a ticket for a Zoom meeting. It was only seven dollars, y'all. Okay. And the the meeting was from seven to eight. Now on my last video, because bitch, I had these scrubs on, but I ain't no dirty bitch on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We were black ho. So this is why I had this on. So I had these scrubs on. I was very happy. Enough about the motherfucking so scrubs. Long story short, days. you it's see this goddamn screenshot, and you don't see it say no Eastern Central Time. So, bitch, you would think that seven to eight is seven to motherfucking eight whatever. everywhere. I'm, I'm making this. And if eat. not everywhere, ho, just, you will put I'm, Central I'm Eastern Time. Is it just me, or is it just me? What the fuck? Treats. Everything good. Copacetic. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna take my little class. So it's around six o'clock. I'm getting prepared. Something told me I was gonna take a shower, but mind you, this lady she hit me up for some treats, so I was just trying to give her reasonable response time. So I really wasn't like I was like fucking. I'm gonna wait to get in the shower. So it was like around seven forty one. 
I'm reading the instructions for her class. I mean, for the Zoom. And I see um, that you need to have the Zoom app. I'm like, okay, cool. I ain't got the app. And I'm really trying to debate if I'm going to do it on my iPad or on my phone. I'm so sure. I do it on my phone. I download the app. I put in the little mean code. Ugh. I put in the little mean code. So shit. You know, like, I could just be set up. Y'all, why the fuck? I put in a meet code, and it's talking about some meeting started at 6. Group reuser or creator or, no, host will let you in. I, we will uh, tell host that you're here. It's 641. I'm confused as fuck. So, in my head, I'm thinking, like, maybe this bitch just, like, getting prepared. Maybe she already up in there just... No, bro, this bitch has started the class at six of fucking clock. And this is my thing because I'm going to upload the fucking ticket on here. The bit it didn't have no Eastern, no Central, it didn't have no fucking time on there. Like it didn't have no time zone on there. So bitch, if you say seven o'clock, how was seven o'clock all the way to and through? Bitch, that means it's seven o'clock in Atlanta, Georgia, the hater, motherfucking Chicago. It's seven o'clock every fucking where. So even if you was an hour early in your time zone, because whatever the fuck the case may have been, you did not put that shit on the motherfucking ticket. And I made sure to screenshot the ticket, because it will be on here, bitch. I it says look y'all here it is again for the bitches the up in the back. They probably didn't the get a look at it the first motherfucking time, like, but here the fuck it is again. When I got in the meme, bitch, at this point I feel like I'd have missed all the good shit. I'd have missed everything about YouTube and content creating. You got these old ass bitches up in here fucking praising you talking about some i love you and this and that and you trying to tell people how to manage their time with their kids it's about the quality of the time with no phones bitch i get rich on social media i don't need you to help me be no motherfucking mama and how to manage my motherfucking time that's not what that's not what this shit was about huh so me being me i'm in the comments sub for sub follow for follow i know y'all be like Stuff or stuff ain't good and all that other shit. I'm going to get something out of this fucking class. The fact that it was 6:41 when I joined, and she went over a couple minutes. She kept saying she has another class to do. But my thing is, the class was supposed to start at seven. I don't give a rat's ass if it was seven where the fuck she was at in that time zone. It's a bullshit. It is bullshit. To the people that was not in the same time zone as this hoe. It's bullshit. And that gives me scamming ass vibes, bitch. Now you a scammer in my fucking book. I don't give a fuck if you feel like my book ain't nobody for you to give a fuck about. But bitch, I give a fuck because hoe, I be in business with you, hoe. I paid money to you, hoe. On my bank statement, for that $7, it say it went to peachmacintyre.com, bitch. So that's bullshit. The way that you connected this book business was bullshit. Everything about this shit was bullshit. And I know for a fact I am not the only fucking one that caught this shit. I can't be the only one in Texas that brought this fucking Zoom class and noticed that the bitch wasn't on Zoom at 7 o'clock. The bitch was on Zoom at 6. 6, bro. And it's crazy because I never would have fucking knew. Something just told me just to go on there and see. And lo and behold, here this bitch is on there. You already on here. And like I said, it could have been an easy mistake. But bitch, if you host any type of event, you need to have motherfucking Central Eastern Time on that bitch. Especially bitch, if it's going to be here, a virtual event, bitch. No the fuck? Like, come on, be fucking for real. That was bullshit. It gives scammer vibes. It gives motherfucking scamming ass vibes. I'm so sorry. You don't want to call somebody out and shit. I'm calling you out because that was bullshit. And I can't be the only person that witnessed that shit. I can't be. I can't be. I genuinely am upset about this shit because it's like, it was bullshit. I don't care if it only was $7, bitch. I don't care. I don't give a rat's ass if it was only $7, bitch. It was my $7 that you scammed up out of me, bitch. What the fuck make you think I want to get on a Zoom and listen to old ass hoes praise you, bitch? The fuck? This was bullshit. This is bullshit. And well, what I will say is about your little ebook thing. You do drop gems up in that bitch. Cause I'ma give credit one dude. Cause I ain't no hate ass. So you drop gems up in there. But 
bitch, if we work it every day, we're trying to build ourselves up to become fucking social media influencers or content creators or whatever the fuck the case may be. What on God's green earth makes you feel as though it's okay for you to put a time limit on how long we have to read your book? Not even read your book, to bitch, to watch the videos of you talking explaining what makes you what what is okay that you give us a time limit i don't care if the book is cheap i don't care why look it's cheap and she why? yeah because the bitch is up in Fucking her car why? kids up why in the background them Tyler, uh, yeah it's and cheap all right did nobody else call you out on this shit because bitch i'm gonna do it you wrong you wrong as fuck for that it's supposed to be a mukbang but bitch i ain't even got no appetite no more ho you are wrong you wrong you know you're wrong and i never wanted to come to this because i actually fuck with you bitch i genuinely fuck with you i fucked with you so much i'd have took your little class i fuck with you and now i feel like you shitted on me bitch i don't like that people probably like so what do you want your seven dollars back at this point i don't know what the fuck i want i don't know what the fuck i want but this was bullshit this it was bullshit it was bullshit it was bullshit and you 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 should be you it was bullshit that's all i can say but y'all i'm mad as fuck i'm still at this job and i ain't viral yet i'm being a content creator yet i actually miss my old doctor that i work for i just not miss no fat ass pig and a blanket ass hoes you, you can go watch some old videos because I'm not fat shaming or body shaming nobody. That's originally got why I got fired because the bitch thought that I was calling her fat ass sack of potatoes because that's what she is. But anyway, um, I'm gonna start trying to do a video every day. I don't know if I should make it a thing to where I do a video when I'm in my car on lunchtime or what, but I'm gonna I'm try at least a 10 minute video every day or something of the sort but today today yeah, wouldn't it be some of the video was about this bitch job, piece of macintosh scamming she's scamming videos. <laughs> you scammed me out of that seven dollars like, so just imagine oh seven times 30 people because it was 140 something people participants on the zoom like you wrong for that peaches you wrong as fuck how the fuck, bitch, what if that was my last $7 I didn't want to use? I, 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 I'm I, thinking, this is my last $7 that's going to change my life. What if that was my motherfucking predicament or situation? What if that genuinely was? I don't know what the solution going to be for this. I genuinely don't motherfucking know what the solution going to be. But bitch, y'all gotta know that I feel like this whole scam oh, me. No, the bitch that's always on social media popping her shit it about Thursday. going from food stamps to this and that. Bitch, you taking you out a bitch's mouth that's trying to do the same mm -hmm. thing. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Cause bitch, who the fuck? And Rolla gonna be there. Bitch, who the fuck? Cause you my bitch and we be fucking raw every time. But I hope y'all have a magnificent day. I had a magnificent birthday up until the end. Ooh, some bullshit. I let me know if you want a video on that. I don't even want to make a video on that because honestly, like, pizza hair grease, y'all. <laughs>